you know, I finally thought I was going to get to sleep tonight. But no, Bushiro had to announce something that I thought was actually relatively breaking to the game. So like the responsible YouTuber, I crawled off my couch from where I was going to fall asleep, turned both my computers on that I had just turned off over an hour ago, just to record this news. I hope you guys like this, because I am tired. How's it going, everyone? My name's Silver. Welcome back to the channel. And today, guys, we got some Vanguard news. Or, yeah, happy 1201, because you guys are basically seeing this video as soon as it goes live, because I'm not waiting. So, guys, that's right. We have some Vanguard frigging news. So... We're going to talk about the new draw triggers that Bushiro just dropped last night, like an hour ago at most. And Coalition was right on top of it, so I'm right behind there. Today's Coalition, Assault and Bar. I'm going to say Bar. I think that's how you say that. As draw triggers, perfect cards, which will probably change how you build your deck. You're damn fucking skippy. That's how they're going to change my deck. So guys, if you don't know what the draw triggers are, I'm just going to go over it. These two draw triggers are have the Sentinel ability. Continuous. They have the fucking Sentinel ability. So if you guys don't know what the Sentinel is, I really did no prior research. So if we open up Google, go to Card Fight Vanguard, Images, and we literally just type in PG... There you go, look at there's first generation assault. Or not first generation, but assault. She's a sentinel too. So a sentinel is basically per is a unique unit that you can only have four sentinel units in the deck of, meaning you can only have four cards with this ability. And they generally either quintet wall or they perfect guard. Quintet wall takes five cards from the top of your deck and puts them into your guard circle whereas this will completely nullify the attack for the cost of one card from hand. All right, you with me so far? So these draw triggers are exactly that. Continuous Sentinel, you may only have four cards with a Sentinel in your deck. Auto, guard circle, when you pl one place, cost, discard a card from your hand, and for the battle, you may, for the battle, one of your units cannot be hit. That's both these cards effect. So, Bushiro has decided that my Blaster Deck profile, that video I did yesterday, is no longer valid, you know. So, um, replace, like, two Lou triggers and two Flogal triggers, and there you go. There, There's my new Assault, or I could even completely just... Yeah, there's... I'm gonna have to rework my deck profile now, just cause... This changes so much. Um, they're both double rares, which I'm okay with. Um, to be fair, though, I am really happy with this development in the game for these two cards. Um, I've always hated how draw triggers work. The logic has always been that they're a 5k shield because they draw an extra card. And I think Bushiro finally is on the same wavelength with me as in the fact that drawing an extra card can be beneficial, but it's not necessarily worth an, a 10k shield. And when I saw that draw triggers were still having 5k shields in the new series, I was kind of salty that they didn't get a 5k buff minimum. Or even like a 2k buff. Like a 7k shield is still better than 5k. But now they've just said, well, fuck the 5k. We'll give you your perfect guards and you can fill up your deck with more slots. So decks are going to become more interesting. Premium decks, definitely. I see a heavy surge in the Kagiro and Royal Paladin decks in premium already because of how they're going to work and what you can do with them. Um, Overall, I like both these cards. The art looks amazing. I love Assault. I mean, I have loved Assault the entire her entire life. But these cards just look amazing. I wonder if we could actually find a card like this from the original series real quick because it's flash sealed assault became a draw trigger i wonder if this card was originally a oh, okay he was the original perfect guard that's what i thought 
So yeah, guys, assault and bar just became draw triggers. So how do I feel on this? I'm happy with the development. Honestly, I really am. I just wish Bisher would stop breaking the game on me while I'm trying to sleep. Um, this is going to be useful because this now is a super powerful card. Um, being that every clan isn't going to have front triggers, you're only really limited to three triggers in this in this for standard. And I don't know how powerful your grade one game is going to need to be in the new series. It's been a long time since we've had single 50 card decks. So this just makes the decision to run cards much easier. And I know everyone later today and tomorrow is going to be blowing this news up. So I'm here first. I'm the first person to post this news. And I plan to keep it like that. So guys, that is it. I'm done recording for now. Let me know what you guys think about these cards and how they've gone from being grade 1s to grade zeros. How they're taking the place of draw triggers and making draw triggers more powerful and much more needed. And I see this card being at least 3 to $10. It's a double rare. Luckily, I got my case. So I will have these unlock. Um... You will be seeing a lot more. Um, I will have a new deck profile out within the next week or so for um, Blaster Blade Premium. Because I can't make a standard deck yet. But as soon as I have a standard deck list, you will guys, you guys will know it. Um, That's about it, guys. Until next time, I've been the Silver Wolf, and I'll see you all later. And there's a Fortnite video coming out later today. Peace.